Welcome, welcome to our week of love. It is Valentine's week. It is February 22nd. We are so excited tonight about our unit being together. And we are also talking about some of our favorite products. We are talking about products that depending on when you're watching this video back, you might still be able to get it for the cheaper price, but you might be seeing the prices in the new catalog that have the price increase. So once in a while, you know, the early bird does get the one. How about if we start with a word of prayer and then we're going to be jumping down to Haley, spotlighting her, and she's going to be telling us about some of our products. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for our time together. We thank you for a company where we get to see our beauty in the mirror, where we get to develop skills. We get to not only develop our speaking skills, our confidence skills, but we get to find places where we get to transfer that to other. May it be in the product, may it be sharing the opportunity May it be just showing people ways to be loving. We ask this time, Lord, I ask that you be with all the presenters, help our words actually come out of the mouth the way that we want them to. But Lord, I just also help, who is it that we're supposed to be hearing these products for? Who is it that we're supposed to be hearing this opportunity for? So that we indeed can be your hands and feet, but we can also use this business to help build the cash that we need for our family and friends. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, Miss Haley, you, I am spotlighting you and you are up. There she is. Almost unmuted. She's got the finger of death going. I see it. Nope. It's still there. It's still there. Got there it. Is. Got it. Got it. Um, I don't have the products in my hands, but okay. it is the Mary Kay two-in-one body wash and shave and the hydrating lotion. It's a set you can buy separately or together. It's called the Hello Clean set. I love it. It's amazing. It smells amazing. It feels amazing. It's just amazing. Um, <laughs> um, some of the things when I looked at the product sheets, again, it's amazing, but it also feels amazing. And the great part is that it's a wash and shave. So it's a gentle enough to like cleanse your skin, but it's works well enough to be able to like actually use it as a shaver like as a um like a shaving cream um it's got that aloe in it so it's going to help soothe your skin without irritating it and it is going to it's got the gl glycerin and this is a fun word barbanita bar <laughs> barbin i practice this i promise uh-huh i can tell I did. I practiced it last night. Barbadin, barbadinus leaf, barbadinus leaf extract, um, which is going to help soothe the skin and come up, come up. God, I swear I practiced. <laughs> okay. Can we just prove our humanity is here is all I'm going to say. It's all good. Yes. Most of us are uh, going to trip over some of these fun words. Yes. You're doing fine. You're doing good. Camellia leaf extract there's another word i'm not going to even try and say which is an antioxidant which is going to help get all the crap out but also help you feel really nice and clean and then these and the scent smells really clean like that's part of why it's called hello clean it's super light it's a little bit floral but it's really it's but it's also clean at the same time and everyone i've met that has smelt it thinks it smells amazing and they don't touch it they just smell it from the bottle um then there's the lotion that pairs with it. It hydrates for over 24 hours. It was amazing. I put it on for my gala this weekend and I felt hydrated the whole night. It smells just like the body wash with those same ingredients. So it's going to provide that hydration and make you feel good and smell good and free radicals and all the good things. And they last about a month long. So if you use it once a day. So the lotion I've had for a while, but you know, the body wash goes faster. Yep. So, but yep. yes, they pair beautifully together. They do look pretty. There you go. Hey, thank I you. I know Sophia wants to add. Go, Sophia. <laughs> you're, I Sophia, know you love it. Too. I just know Sophia loves it too. She's trying. Okay, it's tonight. That mute button is. Which one? Which, which one that, that I love? The one I thought you, me and me, you and Mary fought over the wash and shave. Oh, the wash and shave. Yeah, that's that's it's one that keeps your skin hydrated. It doesn't dry like soap. You know, the old fashioned way to do the soap and all that stuff. That's that's a goodie. Okay, yeah. so a fun use 
which of course is my job, right? The, re the weird uses for products, right? Isn't that my whole job? I think that is my one and only job. But I'm, anyway, um, the shower gels, if you have a tub that bubbles, our shower gels are safe to be used in those and they do bubble nicely, just for the record, because they are they have all those clean ingredients. You don't have to worry about them um, packing up into your elements and stuff like that. But if you want to actually have bubbles, even you want to have a bubble bath. I am telling you that our shower, um, both the two in one that Haley just talked about, but if you also want the scents, if you want the apple almond or the berry vanilla, all of those you can actually put into um, a tub, a, a hydrating, uh, what's it? Now, uh, now let's all trip over our words tonight. Um, the bubble the jet tub. tubs. The jet tubs. You can use them in the jet tubs and they are safe to be used in jet tubs. They don't leave um, that funny perfume residue that clogs things up that the plumbers think we're bad. So just for the record, they're safe to be used in that. Um, price increase on these. Um, they are going that they're each going to be the one that Haley just talked about. They're moving up to $18 each. But let's just think about that $18 each. You're not going to walk into a lot of the other stores that are going to have that high concentrated product that you're going to get by with just $18. So I just, yes, it's an increase, but depends on who we're comparing ourselves to. Yes, it is more than expensive than Dollar Tree. Yes, it is. Okay. But can we just say there's a different product? So, okay. Sophia, since you are now officially unmuted, you get to go next because you have, you have, you, you, you fought through the issue. So we're going to spotlight you and you're going to be up on your products. Okay. So the, my first product, I have the whipped satin body whipped shea cream. Okay. Uh, this is delightful. All I can say is the scent is delightful. It is wonderful to experience. Okay. Some of the things I was just reading the box here just a minute ago, as far as the fragrances in here, and it does have shea butter. This is fabulous for your heels, your elbows. Okay. Um, it's it's got um, uh, apricot kernel extract beeswax. It has beeswax in it as well. Um, it um, has what's another one? There's a seed butter in here. Anyway, it's I think it's mango seed butter in here as well. Um, anyway, it's it's a little bit thicker than the lotion that goes with this same line, the satin body line. Um, and it stays on your body. It's a 24 hour kind of a thing that moisturizes for 24 hours. Um, so yes, it's fit for use every day, but it's not something that nor that, that normally people do use every day and you can use it all over your body, uh, particularly heels, elbows, all those good places. That is one, and I love the way it smells. Um, here, I'm going to take out the little jar, the little jar. Now, I'm not going to open a jar because this one is sold. Okay. <laughs> so um, any, anyway, it smells very pretty and it's a good complement to, and I should have started with this one, the uh, the other one of mine that, that I like along the same line is the body scrub, the satin body body scrub. Okay, start with this one. <laughs> and uh, it, anyway, it's got little silica gel in there and it's good to just kind of slough off the that dry skin, you know, on in, in those different places before you apply your creams and your your lotions. Mm -hmm. So uh, anyway, this is this is my this is my my uh, body soap. Mm -hmm. yep. You know, I love it's a wonderful exfoliant. And like I said, it has uh, the hydrated silica crystals in there. Awesome. So anyway, awesome. those are two my two products. Got it. Um, so with Sophia's set, um, so she's sh showing off the satin scrub. There's also, the, she's talked about there was a satin lotion. There's also a satin wash. The, the let me, um, the, one of the biggest differences between Sophia's and Haley's, um, Sophia's is white tea and citrus. Okay, so that is the scent that Sophia is telling us about. That's white tea and citrus, white tea and citrus. So that uh, white tea and citrus also comes in the satin hands set. So um, that shape, so everything in satin comes um, for the shower, it comes in white tea and citrus. Satin hands set comes in white tea and citrus 
or fragrance free. The, the fragrance free complement, but not exactly, is Haley's, the two in one. But you can't tell me, um, no one's going to tell me that the two in one sh uh, sh wash and shave and the hydrating lotion doesn't have a scent. There's never, no one's going to tell me that because it has a scent. <laughs> so that we will not say that we have a shower gel that is that doesn't have a scent. So as you are talking to your customers, if anybody says, do we have a shower gel that doesn't have a scent? I would answer it no. Because to me, all of them have enough that it's like, mm, not so much. Um, to, that that they're scent, if they're scent sensitive. Um, Sophia's products are going up her, the, the wash, lotion, and scrub are moving to 22. And that jar of numbiness, um, it, as she said, it is thicker than Haley's, but not where we're going yet next. Um, that it, this, with the whipped shea cream, that is going to 26. Um, so just to let you know that that little jar, they're all, of course, staying in the line. Um, the shower gel, the apple almond and the berry vanillas, they're moving up to 16. So just to kind of let you know, they're going from 14 to 16. And now, um, so we're going to move to Serenity. Okay. So when I asked her to do this, because I didn't, I mean, we didn't know if she was going to be, be able to be on. The reason I wanted this product to be talked about, this is as close to the uh, our great grandmother product. This is, if we wanna say what product can we trace back to 1963, this is the product, okay? So it's not, a, this is not, it's not the same formula as 1963. I did not say this, okay, I can't say that part. But if we are going to make the line connection, hey, where, 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 where is it? Um, it is this one, so Serenity, I'm gonna pull you up on, um, spotlight you and take it away, my friend. Okay. So yes, I do not have the product in front of me. Mary has it. Let's see. Yes. It is a, uh, the thickest really of the moisturizers like this. Think of it more of like uh, aquaphor or Vaseline type consistency, but not sticky feeling really. Um, but yes, this is one of the oldest products that Mary Kay has. Um, I read don't know if it's confirmed anywhere that this is one that Mary Kay Ash used herself every night and she would hit, put around her eyes mm -hmm, before we had time wise. So this, this is, this is actually yep. what she, this is the product, one of the products that she fell in love with pre mm -hmm. coming up with the company. Love that. Yes. Yep. So that's a great one to tell customers. It is great for your dry skin customers. Um, it is super hydrating and it's also suitable for sensitive skin. Um, how it works is you, after you wash your face and then you add your normal moisturizer, you add this on top of your normal moisturizer. And so it works as pr providing a protective shield to minimize moisturization or to pre prevent moisture evaporation. So um, it allows increased hydration, uh, great for dry areas. So not just your face, but your elbows, your hands, your heels, anywhere where you're particularly dry. Um, did you uh, want me to read this whole list? Yes, I, I want okay. to at least put the highlights on it because, yeah. yeah. I, I wrote my favorite ones down because I was like, I don't know if we're allowed to say all these, but if you I say- I fun with them, go for it. Okay. Okay. So these are from customers, what they're all the uses customers have used the extra emollient cream for over 20 uses. So we have applying to stretch marks, to nails and cuticles, to remove your lipstick and lip wax. Um, you can apply this as a diaper rash cream or for cradle cap for your babies. Um, you can apply it on new tattoos as an aftercare treatment. Um, you can use it to reduce and eliminate burn scarring, um, remove grease from mechanic hands. You can apply it around your face before hair color treatment to prevent staining. Um, around your face, okay, yeah, soothe irritation from retin A or other treatments. Mm, apply over the face and throat at night for to treat extremely dry skin. Okay, you can treat it. Uh, treats dryness due to eczema. 
psoriasis and exposure to chlorine. Yep, so after you get out of the pool, so your skin doesn't dry out. You can apply it to your body after showers while it's damp to treat dry skin. Uh, around your eyes at night, like Mary Kay did. Um, apply to your hands, cracked feet, and then you can wear socks after putting it on your feet so it really just soaks in there overnight. Uh, apply to your hands before gardening so your hands stay soft. And then also there's some non-skincare uses that people have used as well. They use it as an adhesive removal. So for like, if you get tags stuck on things, you can use it to get the tags off. Um, people have used it for treatment for damaged hair before shampooing. Um, you, people have used it as a shoe shine um, and used it to shine their dashboards and tires and grease gears. So it is the multi-use product, well, multi-use products. <laughs> It, we, we joked that, that, what is it, what was that, my Greek wedding where they said Windex gives everything? What, what, did, <laughs> this is Windex. Did I, did I have, did I have yeah. the right wedding? Um, so this product, yes, we, we joked that this, you have to have it. I will tell you that, um, that I've used it on more than one baby, and I will tell you, it is amazing. So it, and instead of that other, you know, there's other brands out there, I will tell you, Extra Molly Cream really does, if that, that little back end gets to not a happy back end. Um, totally awesome on that. Um, so the price on our extra only at night cream um, is going up to 18. So we went from 16 to 18. Um, just in case your customers are giving you pushback on this, okay, which I really haven't ran into many that are giving me a pushback, but just in case. In so I've been in 15 years. This they have one never did across the board all prices changed. Okay. So they kind of will stagger things for us, but this is only my fifth stagger. So all the items haven't even changed. Um, but when they do it, they kind of stagger them. So you're not taking a shot on everything. Um, it was what a year, right out of COVID, we ended up with some price adjustments on a lot of our um, time-wise products because yeah, well, COVID nailed us on that um, just because availability of ingredients and things like that. So just to kind of let you know, if people are pushing back this, they're not going to next book do it to us again, okay? Um, we are, as directors, we know at least information at least through Christmas. So I can tell you through the end of the year, you're fine, okay? So and I anticipate way beyond that. So just to let you know, yes, there's new prices, but this isn't like, oh, I just did this and then they're gonna do it to me again. That That's not it at all. So just to, um, lipsticks and lip glosses, people are changing prices. Okay, so they are moving up, they are changing. Um, I personally am stocking up on my high, my per, not only my personal colors that I use, but, I'm also the ones that I looked back at, like what have my customers ordered? Um, and I'm stocking extras of those. I'm not buying all of them. I'm just buying extras of the what my peeps tend to buy. Because, And how do we know what our, peep, our peeps tend to buy? Odds have it, it's what you buy and what you like. Haley sells way more of a two-in-one shave um, gel than I do. Not even a contest. She outsells me. If we were going to go on a contest of who's going to sell more two-in-one shape gel, Haley's going to sell more than I do because I don't, that's not mine. Okay. I'm Apple only. I, I probably outsell everybody else on Apple only because that's where I'm at. So if you want to know, if you look at your sales records, they're going to, I'm not saying that you only sell what you use. I'm saying you're going to sell more of what you use. Serenity, your skin tends to run drier, correct? If I remember right. If you, how much do you have more dry, dry skin customers? Yes. And so I'm always constantly recommending the nourishing oil and the moisturizing stick, which I sell a lot of. Yeah. Okay. It is somehow you attract people like you. So Serenity sells more dry skin products. Haley and I sell stuff on the other end. Not that we don't sell any dry skin stuff. But we sell more because we're both more on the oily side. 
Does that make sense? So just you're going to attract people like you, that, I mean, which is a good thing to have us to be a part of that. Okay, uh, enough on that kind of stuff. Um, a, a thought process. How many of you are extremely busy? <laughs> yes, I assumed, I knew that answer. That's why I thought I would do this part of the training. Um, a time blocking suggestion. A time blocking, because you know, we have 160, 168 hours in our week, regardless if we're gonna use them all or not, we, that's what we get. We get to either use them or we don't. So a t um, one suggestion, depending on how you're, so I'm gonna give you a couple suggestions. One, if your scheduling is pretty big blocks, like, hey, there's work that I, you know, it's, it, there's my eight hours, boom. You know, I'm, I'm at the store, I'm at the whatever, boom, there's a big old block on that. So you have a, a small block pre work in the morning, you have a big block of work and you have a small block at night. Does that make sense? It's so I'm, I'm gonna actually say almost everybody on, a, on, the, on the screen tonight, that's kind of who you are. Um, what they recommend to do is to take that morning block and break it into two mini blocks and also take the middle of your day because prayerfully, your job allows you to stand up and go to the bathroom at least once, okay? Some of your jobs, there's a big debate about that. I love you all, but how you ever get that in is just kind of a wonderment. Um, but what they recommend to do on your schedule is in your, mini, in your morning, um, give an intention that before lunch, you're going to do blank for your business. And the goal is to have done one, not 95, not 500, the one thing you wanted to do for your business was that to make one phone call to invite the person for the event that night. Was that to follow up with your hostess that, your, that said that she was gonna do a party for you on Saturday? Was that to make sure that you have it done before lunch and then schedule one other thing for your business post work, but to schedule two things per day for your business. If you have time and you can fit more in, great. The, the reason they're saying that is to take little mini wins as opposed to big losses. Does that make sense? Yes. So to set it up as like, hey, I really want you know, I want someone to be on my call, on the call on Thursday night. I really want whatever. I'm really, I want to, this weekend, I can, I have time. I can actually see people this weekend. I want to have a party this weekend. Okay. Your commitment is every day before lunch and every day, one, you made two phone calls for that. Does that make sense? Um, the other thing is if you have your day off, <laughs> Okay, or your day that all of a sudden your day is different. You don't have your eight hour block. Divide your day off or your day that is no longer a big block. To give yourself a win, they say break that day off into eight mini blocks and devote seven of them to whatever you want to do, but find one block in that day off for your business. Because what happens for a lot of us, not that it's you, this is studies. And they're not talking about the people on the screen. They're talking about studies of humans, okay? When we're used to having big blocks that somebody else controls our universe. And then we go to a day that our universe isn't controlled by everybody else. There seems to be more chaos during that day and you seem like you can't get everything done, okay? What they're recommending is that on those days off, you give yourselves, oh, this is my block to work on the house. This is my block to do personal care items. This is my block to do what? Because that's the same thing that a boss more or less tells you when they're giving you your eight hour, hours of block, because we'll pick on Haley, she's in a classroom. Hey, she's not teaching her fourth hour students first hour. She's teaching her first hour students first hour, right? Um, you know, 
Sophia, you're you're not worrying about what has to be done in the afternoon. In the morning, you do your morning jobs in the morning. So they're recommending that on our day off, we do the same. And the part that made me smile, they go, is that when you break it up that way, also give yourself one of those, one of those as a I'm behind block. So that actually you schedule nothing. So anybody else sometimes run behind? <laughs> so that when you're running behind, you run into this block of I'm running behind and then you get yourself back on target so that you don't feel like you're behind the entire day. We guys think pretty good. I thought those were some pretty good tips and ideas of how to handle our days and things like that. Okay, uh, there's Miss Bonnie getting ready to have a birthday. Um, other ideas, comments, concerns. If that will go, come up, any other? Oh, and we have puppy dog today. Man, we got all kinds of friends today. Okay, let's quick stop the recording.